Hello and welcome. In this video we are looking at some higher tier content for GCSE physics and it's all based around this formula here. And the formula says energy transferred is potential difference times charge. Now because it's on the higher tier it's more than just a question of uh, being able to use the formula so you actually need to understand what this means. Now the key I think to understanding this is being very carefully aware of this idea of potential difference. Potential difference actually means the amount of energy per coulomb of charge. Now if you have a potential difference of 10 that means that every coulomb of charge has 10 joules of energy okay so that energy there is measured in joules so 10 volts means 10 joules of energy per coulomb of charge now if we then multiply by the amount of charge that we have that can give us the total amount of energy transferred uh, into a light bulb or into an appliance or into a component in a circuit just to give you a, a quick example here we have a little circuit and the potential difference across this resistor is 6 volts that means for every that means there are 6 joules of energy for every coulomb of charge passing across this fixed resistor and in the question here or in this little diagram here the charge flow is 5 coulomb so if we know there's 6 joules per coulomb and there's 5 coulombs the energy transferred for this data here is basically 30 joules of energy. Okay, so the key to understanding this really is this idea here that potential difference means amount of energy per coulomb of charge. Now let's see how that looks in a potential question. Here I've got a circuit, it's a series circuit, 12 volts across the power supply here. We've got two bulbs, bulb 1 and bulb 2, and if you measure the potential difference across bulb 1, it's 8 volts and potential difference across bulb 2 is 4 volts. Now the first part of the question here says how much energy is in each coulomb of charge leaving the battery? Well if we remember that potential difference means amount of energy per coulomb of charge that's fairly straightforward the potential difference is 12 so it's 12 joules per coulomb of charge. Now that's just talking about the battery here, but if we're looking at bulb 1, so for question 2, how much energy is... Let's put the answer in there. So for question number 2, it says how much energy is transferred by 10 coulombs of charge by bulb 1. Now be careful here, because it would be very easy to use this uh, 12 volts here to do our calculation, but if we're measuring the potential difference across bulb 1, it's actually 8 volts so that means 8 volts per coulomb and we've got 10 coulombs of charge so that would be 8 times 10 equals 80 joules of energy 80 joules of energy are transferred by bulb number one and for bulb number two similarly make sure you're using the potential difference across the bulb and not in the circuit and that will be then a simple case of it's 4 joules of energy per coulomb and there are 10 coulombs so it's 4 times 10 equals 40 joules okay so we have 40 joules of energy being transferred for 10 coulombs by bulb 2 and 80 joules of energy being transferred for 10 coulombs by bulb 1 and in total we have 120 joules of energy for 10 coulombs uh, that's mentioned in the question and if you uh, think about it if we go if we work it back down to one coulomb we've got 12 volts that's 12 joules per coulomb and that means eight um, joules per coulomb would be for bulb one and four uh, joules per coulomb for bulb two so it all kinds of uh, kind of adds up and makes sense okay so that's um, how you use the formula that is energy transferred equals potential difference times charge the key is probably remembering that potential difference means amount of energy per coulomb of charge and that should help you when you come across a question that is revolved around this formula. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.